Once upon a time they lived upon a grassy bluff. Billy the little and Billy the middle and Billy the biggie. The Billy goes gruff. Billy the biggie, the Billy goes gruff. They ate and ate the grass all day until it all was gone. They ate all the clover till none was left over. They were lawn mowers, those Billy goes gruff. Delicious. And rich and nutritious. It answered their wishes, that yummy fresh grass. It answered their wishes, that yummy fresh grass. Billy the little ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped a troll and he hollered out, Stop! Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm very small, and you look very hungry. Billy the Middle Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped the troll and he hollered out, Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll, I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right, then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped to the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, yeah? Billy the Biggie, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the The Biggie! The Billy Goat's Gruff! And Billy the Biggie, the Billy Goat's Gruff! Mom, what's that word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story The Turtle and the Rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast, but the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad. The day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Piggy said go. The hare he flew over the hill and out of view. It looked like tortoise was stuck in glue. The day of the big, big She laughed. Ho, ho, ho. That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. 
the day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough, the day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead, I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch, she made a bed, the day of the big, big race. Snore the day of the big, big race. So old Tortoise trudged along, whistling a happy song. He was slow, but he was strong. The day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs, let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race. Finally, he passed the hare, fast asleep and unaware. The finish line, I'm almost there. The day of the big, big Again to cheer and cheer, and slowly toward as he drew near, the hare awoke and said, Oh dear, the day of the big, big race. The hare began to run and run. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Hooray! The slow old tortoise won the day of the big, big race. The lesson here is plain to see Whether slow or fast you be If you work hard, you will succeed The day of the big, big race The day of the big, big race Jack the 
the giant chased, he chased Jack all over the place when suddenly, hip hip hooray, came Gigi and Noah to save the day. They froze that giant like stone, like stone, they froze that giant like stone. <laughs> to the beanstalk, Jack ran fast and bold, and there he found a sack of gold. His mama's gold, that giant stole so many. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse This is the story of the lion and the mouse Mouse was creeping through the woods And woke a sleeping lion Angrily, he grabbed that mouse She was scared and crying She said, if you let me go Tiny thing, what can you do for me? Tell you what, <laughs> you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear Sat down to eat their porridge Ooh, much too hot Growl, papa bear, let's go Walk in the forest That's when Goldilocks came by Found their house in the thicket Knock, 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 no answer So Goldie entered the kitchen Mmm, smells good She grabbed a spoon she had no permission Papa Bear's porridge way too hot Mama Bear's porridge way too cold Baby Bear's porridge just right Just right, just right After Goldie had her fill She felt lazy and tired In the living room she spied Chairs of three different sizes they looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama 
Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right. Just as gold he settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Gold he went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed, just right, just right, just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep, three bears came back home. Soon as they stepped in, they knew they were not alone. Brr, someone's been eating my pork. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby. And they ate it all up, ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby. And they broke it up, broke it up. Upstairs in their bedroom now, what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby. And there she is, there she is. Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Hi! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter Down the stairs and through the door Goldie's gone forevermore Our three bears, they scratched their heads Fixed the chair and made the beds And sat down to eat their porridge And that is the story of the three bears Yeah! Okay, you two, snuggle in and close your eyes, and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She fought a path through the deep, dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh-huh. His hat and said, How do you do? Uh huh, uh huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Said Little Red Riding Hood. Good day! And she walked away, but the big bad wolf knew a faster way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The big bad wolf came to Granny's house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said, then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Here, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Granny, what great big ears you have! Uh huh, uh huh. Granny, what great big eyes you have! Uh huh, uh huh. Granny, what great 
big teeth you have. The wolf said, Better to eat you with. And the big bad wolf, he never came back. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. We're safe now, Granny. The little girl said. Uh huh, uh huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh huh, uh huh. They ate the cookies happily, and that's the end of our story. Uh -huh. Huggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see one sunny day. Who knows why? He thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! And up the hill a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick! I played for fun! The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. The very next day, at half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf, wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come. Hurry, hurry. No one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then. I'll never, ever lie again. The most important thing to do is Always, always tell, tell the, the truth! truth. <laughs> <laughs>
do that, can't do that, can't do that, said the policeman. You can't do that, no, 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 no. <laughs> Have you seen my tail? I can't find it. Where did you last see it? I'm sure you'll find it. Who stole my toy? Who stole my toy? I'm looking for my teddy bear. Hey guys, have you ever thought about what you might want to be when you grow up? Lots of times. Maybe once or twice. Yeah, it's going to be a forever long time till we grow up. No, it won't. You'd be amazed how fast time flies. Yeah, look at how old Noah and I are already. I want to show you something I just found. Look at this. Ooh, look, costumes. Let's try them on. Great, Great idea! idea. <laughs> when I grow up, I could be a scientist, paleontologist, digging up bones of dinosaurs. When I grow up, 
I could be a doctor Just for kids and toddlers Make them feel better than before Maybe I'll be a dancer Leaping across the stage and screen Maybe I'll be a writer Of stories for a magazine When I grow up When I grow up <laughs> When I grow up I could join the police force Ride on a white horse <laughs> Solving crimes would be my game When I grow up I could be a firefighter Putting out fires Saving people from the flame Maybe I'll be a pilot So I can fly to <laughs> when I grow up, I could be a teacher My kids will be readers And they'll do math in their head When I grow up, I'll be a baseball player Champion skater Or play basketball instead Police car. 